Right, good morning, and uh, welcome to Spell Rogue. Um, Rosa DYB here. Uh, it's a game by Guide Light Games. Um, I've added the um, trailer for it at the start of my uh, channel. So we're just looking at the uh, settings here. I've turned down the music volume, and I've kept the uh, SFX up. So um, hopefully we can hear some of the uh, sound going on, but not too much of the music. That way you might actually be able to hear me. Um, so let's start this game up. Now we are doing a play test on this game. Um, this one's this one looks locked. Now I usually do play tests towards the end of the game because they tend to be um, the correct thing um, when it comes out. Um, the closest to it. So this game obviously came out six months ago for testing and it's had a lot of changes since. Um, let's choose the one in the centre here. Uh, right, let's begin journey. So it looks like you're given some kind of options. So this is Act 1, The Deadwoods. Now, I believe that this would be the game board uh, I would believe that all game boards are probably going to be different, um, have different elements to them. It's quite a big game board, buggy, but uh, let's roll it back and let's have a look at this. So here's me, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, Wizard Tower. So it looks like the line. There's the only line going this way, so I'm going to have to go this way, aren't I? Um, the Academy will bestow you an item from their vaults, uh, a common artifact. Um, well, let's go get that. Okay. One common artifact. Okay, overcharged crystal, but common there. Uh, roll 10 dice. Deal 6 damage to a random enemy. Okay, so this one's highlighted in the middle, right? And that one's just common. Uh, okay, so that one highlights in the middle. Uh, blocks damage until the start of the next turn. So, on... I assume that's a 5 roll. Looks like a 5. You gain 2 block. Uh, when moving on the map, you gain 10 gold. Well, we're probably going to get gold anyway. So, let's go with... Uh, let's go with protection. Okay, so that's just gone to the top there. Okay. So we have three routes to go. And it looks like we can't go backwards. We probably wouldn't go backwards anyway from there. So this is a monster battle. Uh, a question mark event. Random special event. A shop where you can spend shards and potions and temporary buffs. So I can see that up the top there, that looks like shards. And that looks like gold. So this potions, we don't have any potions right now. Is this my health? I'm Morgan, apparently. Um, I didn't actually change my name, so... What's this? Active spells, so these are my spells. Mana sockets, um, so this is where you put your dice in. Um, Reroll dice. Uh, deal damage and block. Okay, we'll find out more about that in the battle and obviously your settings at the top there. Um, so, event, shop, unguarded shards. So these, sh these are free shards. Uh, sanctuary. Choose from a sanctuary of gifts. Now these guys look different, means that these ones are red down here, but this one is an elite battle. Elite monsters are blocking the road. Defeat to gain rewards. One shard. What else is new? That, that's got a box on it, so he's an artifact. So some are artifacts, some are shards. So that's just telling me what the, yeah, shard and potion, so that's just showing me potion. 
Okay, so it looks like you've got to very much carefully choose your route. Oh, this one's different. Uh, spells and artifacts shop. I think the best thing to do from here is let's go. Let's go right. And there's the first combat, okay. So, oh. Okay, there's our dice. Three dice. Ring of banner indicates how many dice are rolled at the start of your turn. Well, that's three. Okay, so. He's a corrupt defender I'm attacking, dealing three damage and gaining one power. He increases damage on his attacks. So if I hover over end turn. So my health will go down by one. It looks like my block goes, is that block? Block goes down to zero. Okay. Okay, so mana socket. So fluctuate is reroll dice. Uh, this is three to four. So value higher than or equal to three. <coughs> Or the value less than or equal to four. So if my block has gone down, maybe I can use use that. Oh, okay. So it's went from two to six. So the value of the dice increased the block. Yeah, gain whatever dice that is for block. So if I cover over that, so my block will go from six to three. Okay, what else do I do with these dice? So we put them in the let's put them in here. So that will deal five damage. Is that right? Five? Yeah, five. So you can see his number's gone down. And he has free block. And that goes down to zero as well. It's quite cool. I'm hovering over at the moment. You know, perform it on myself? No. No, guess not. Not that I would want to. Okay, let's attack. So his block's been removed because it was a five attack. And we damaged him by two. So if it very the six should be a six attack. So right, I have no dice, so that's the end of turn one. Okay, so it's three blocks. Why has he got that? Plus one attack. He's gonna gain three block in this turn. Uh, what have I got? I've got two blocks. Does there any point in me doing block? No. Okay, so we will put five in there. Okay, so as we're not blocking, we will put the dice in here. So this should give me a new, new number. Yeah, five. But technically, five is enough to get him. I'm just going to throw that in there anyway. It's a two. So I can do this twice and you see the numbers going down there and now I can't use that at all so three times so I've got two times on this and two on that one so let's pop five in here let's kill him okay so two items from the chest so we have a new spell I'm guessing that these are going to be completely random, so these might not be the ones you get. And there's a reroll option there for 20. Um, so we have 3 to 4 value. So, ring 4. Um, barrier on odd, which is block. Is that right? Barrier on odd is block, yeah. Uh, blocks damage until the end of next turn. And gain 1 power. Increases damage on attacks. And this is an odd one only. So deal the number of damage. And apply one poison. So okay. And this is one and two. Gain one hailstorm. Ice fury per stack when rolled dice on this turn. Increases damage on the next turn. Actually, that's quite cool. 
Um, so let's go for something like... Because a 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 is quite narrow. Let's go with odd. So it gives a few more options. And 27 gold. Okay, so can I go backwards as Titus? No. Yeah, so yeah, definitely you're going to have to work out your path as you're going along. So I'm going to head towards... There's a sanctuary over there. It's a leap here. So we head to the shop then. So we are stay on the right side. Uh, chest of blood. You stumble upon a locked chest with text written upon the lid. Blood is the path to glory. Bleed on the lock. Receive 8 damage. Uncommon artifact draft. So my health will go down by 8, but I will get an uncommon artifact. No, why not? Okay, so yeah, my health went down by 8 in the corner there. More 52. Alright, so these are uncommon then, green. Okay, end of turn. So if I do this one, that will be the end of the turn. If less than six spells cast, gain one foresight. Okay, well I don't have six spells, so I can't do that one anyway. Um, roll one, two, three, four, five, six. In that order, apply three mark to all enemies. A mark is plus 50% damage received on target for one per turn. Start of turn, apply portent. There's a portent on a random spell. A uh, portent must be played as the first spell in the turn, or else portent is removed. I must admit, some of these are very random and quite demanding. I um, don't actually know what is the best to choose from this. Uh, that one also gains one power, but removes portent. Let's go for Dark Heart. Let's try this one out. Chest of blood. As you open the chest, you feel light-headed from the loss of blood. Uncertain if this was a wise choice, the words of your teacher echoes in your head. What's done is done. Yeah, well, there's not much really about now. Um, okay. Okay, so we have three dice and we're up against a Spine Fiend. Dealing four damage and applying one weak. Uh, weak reduces attack damage on target for one turn. So, Berserk Berserker. Gain one power whenever attacked by spells. Technically, if I use my spell down here, then I'm going to get, I'm going to give him one power, and his power increases damage on attacks. So, as it stands, he's going to do four damage to me, as it's highlighted at the top there. Um, okay, so let's have a look at this. Um, so I don't have a card for this, this is just a separate ability at the top then. So roll one, two, three, four, five, six in that order. So I don't know if that is what I'm gonna play. Because also can't roll. I want one and two. So okay, let's put one in here because we haven't tried this one yet anyway. So he's poisoned. And his his attack has gone up. No, no, we expected that anyway. So he's also poisoned. Okay. So we may as well block some of that attack. We put the two in here, and we 
have six. What are we going to do with six? Let's put... Let's put six in the ice spear. It's a good amount of damage at least. Okay, and that's end the first turn. So two will block, two damage block, and then four will be the health I lose from his six attack. And he just got poisoned there, so he's lost one. Okay, more dice. Uh, until end of turn, four attack damage. So let's swap over that. So four attack damage. Uh, I've got two block going down to zero. Okay, so I've got. Oh, that's three on six now. So I've done one, two, and three. Three. Let's put three in here and let's see. Oh, he's not got any poison damage anymore. Oh, well, he's got some poison damage now. Okay. So let's go with more block. Oh, yeah. Uh, block. Uh, oh, well, we might as well do the same as what we did last time, I guess. Um, there we go. Um, so four damage and my block is going to be removed. Okay, end turn. Doesn't seem like there's any way to heal at the moment. Uh, so that's four of six now. Still not quite sure how this one's working out. To be honest, because I see four, five, and six on that dice. But it is in order. The four came last, so maybe that's what that is. It came last out of the uh, thing. Right, so odds. Um... Five times two, wow. So he's going to do ten damage against me. So, what can I do here? I could probably put the six in there and kill him. Well, it's five damage. I need to see the kill came up there. Okay. Right, a new spell. Okay, so these ones are very different. Rain. That's quite cool. Indicates the rare of this. Oh yeah, sorry. And then yeah, we know that. Uh, so five spots because it's five only. Is that right? Specific value of five. Yes. Gain three rain and the start of each turn. Reduce all countdown spells by the amount of rain, and remove one stack. Okay. Starts combat with full charges, but cannot be restored in any way. Poison bile. This looks like it's a ten countdown socket. So what? I guess that means when I add dice into it, that number will start to reduce until I count up to ten. Okay, maybe we one time. This is all. Oh, these are one time ones. Apply six poison. Okay, so this, I um, guess we need two dice for this one. Gain seven block on seven more of dice. Blocks damage to a start next time. So we've already got block anyway. Technically we already have a few of those. I'm going to go with a poison bio actually. I'm going to try that one out. So gold. Okay. Now we're still working towards this one, aren't we? So... Let's stay on the right, unguarded. Right. So one shot, okay. Okay, so we are gonna go left. Oh wait, uh, I can see this highlighted up here. So this is my shards. Um, does this mean I have to use this now? Can I put it back up? Yeah, okay. So let's pick that back up. All right, so increases uh, so these ones, uh, these ones have got the extra shard pieces on, and these ones don't. So I can uh, involve these ones. Increases to two times damage on plus two poison. Uh, plus two poison, plus one charge. Um, what would be the best to do here? That looks like it's gone to ten. 
Is that right? I don't, I don't remember that being Taylor. Oh, maybe it was. Um, plus one charge, so do one damage per stack at the end of the turn. Then reduce poison. Two times damage. However, poison works over time. Let's go with poison. Why not? We get a lot of poison here. Okay, so that's just we're pushing the top right square to open and close that. Okay, which way am I going? This way. So let's have a look. There's a shop here. Oh, what is this? This is blood soaked boots. So this is some sort of equipment then. And it's a rare at the start of each turn, roll one extra dice if you have taken damage the previous turn. So that's quite cool. And this is some sort of equipment as well, even though it's technically a coin. Three run uh, regeneration. Sorry, my phone's going off there, sorry. Uh, apply three weak to all units. So that's kind of a good and a bad, isn't it? Right, now I've got 85 coins, so I can buy most of these. Uh, is it worth even buying anything uh, in a storm? There's an even one now. I've got an odd already, so maybe even could be a good idea. Do a damage to a random enemy in game 2 block. Lost dice until next turn, end of turn, game. Dice. So that sounds different. That's even as well, game 3 block. On re roll dice. So that's a six. I can just about make out that's a six. On six, re roll dice. So that could be helpful. Minus two countdown cost target. Spell this combat. Unrestorable. Unrestorable means starts combat with full charges but cannot be restored in any other way. Did we miss that one? Maybe merge dice, gain four block. So merging dice might not be a good idea, so that's probably why there's the two slots there. But technically, we only gain four block. I suppose that'd be helpful if you've got one and a one, maybe. Maybe. Poison barrier, more poison. We don't need more poison right now, but uh, that is just block and poison to enemy on a five. So that's no countdown socket, and this is one as well. Accumulation. Gain one block for each dice rolled this turn. So that'd be three block, wouldn't it? Because I have three dice at the moment. Okay, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to go for... Tempted to stay with it even. Let's go for this one. Can I get this one? Go three. Okay, so I can buy more than one. But I don't know whether that's a good idea or not. Might need the coins. I do say you can sell. So why is that? Why is that up there? Active spells. Okay, so I've got five active and one in the inventory. Okay, there's no point in selling. So let's come out of there. Um, so I could go back into the shop then. Okay. Alright, so I've missed, missed those. Let's go forward. So this is an elite battle. Okay. Uh, what did that do? Oh, yeah, that gives me two block every time, doesn't it? Yeah, and that's one of six now. Um, because it has to start again, you because it's a new battle. Can I actually change my spells in the oops? What do I do? Uh, can I change my spells? Uh, even world. Yeah, we haven't we haven't done that one yet, have we? Uh, so let's take out take that one out. Let's put that one in. Okay. Does that work? No. I cannot change them in battle or or maybe it might work on the next um, dice roll okay so let's go with 
just head. Should we reroll it? Let's try reroll to get a higher number. Alright, so. Fire. Still two fours, so I could do with a higher number really. Three. Yeah. Well, we want one more chance, why not? And a two. Okay. What is he going to do? He's summoning reinforcements. So I guess he's not going to damage me, then there's no damage, but he is summoning reinforcements. Okay, so I'm going to do a four. But if four block, that will carry on over, will it? So even though he's not going to damage me, I will keep that block. And I have a two, um, I don't mind if I block again. Okay. Carry on abomination and he's doing four damage two times, gaining one power, increases damage on attacks. And we have two toxic oozes here who have special cheese under them. Summon. Summoned units instantly die if there's no leader. So if I kill him I guess they would die, wouldn't they? Um applying one daze. The daze is minus twenty-five percent attack damage for one turn. And he's doing normal powers. Okay, so six, four, and two. Where's all my block gone? That mean I lost all that block. Hmm. Oh well, I guess I've lost that then. Um, six. So, who does that apply poison to? Does that apply to poison to everyone? Poison by one. Let's put a six in there, let's see if I can use that. Makes more sense to put it on him, doesn't it? Six poison. And he has higher attack now. So I still going to need some blocking, aren't I? Okay. And what else can I do with this? Let's put it on here. Five. So twisted guys are can we stack poison, I wonder? So that would go three onto six. Mm. So yes, that does work. That is nine poison now. So he's gonna lose a bit. I'm losing two. Okay. I'm dazed. Oh, oh, I got quite a bit of block there. I got two fives. So I've added some block. Did this change? No, it didn't. So, okay, so I cannot change during the match. Okay. Right, two fives. And he's got quite a lot of poison already, but I wonder if I can poison him even more. Death by poison. Six. Six onto eight. Fourteen. Wow. So he's going to lose fourteen on the next hand. I'm going to lose a lot too. I'm going to lose twelve health at this point. Okay, why am I losing so much health? Because yeah, he's attacking me with twelve. Okay, so let's... Let's go with some block, but we gain the number dice block so if we put that in there because it's number one two do I try again two more chances haven't I well I naturally got more block and two right so I'm gonna put the two in there and I'll get some more blocks so eight block it's still gonna hurt me quite a lot does he surpass my block or something? Is that still? No, oh no, so no, that's right. So it goes down by eight, doesn't it? Okay, let's have a look. Oh. 
Oh yeah, they're attacking too, aren't they? I forgot about that. Okay, so I've got four, three, and a two. Um, he's still got 13 poison damage, so he's going to get quite hurt. So if I can get his number down by six here. Let's see if I can do that. Can I do that? So that's only three damage. Uh, if I put that in there, that's three damage. And let's do more block on myself. So I'm going to lose quite a lot of health here too. I'm going to be down to 20. Power's gone up and he's got 12 poison damage. Okay, so on the next turn he will have one health. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the one in here. I'm gonna do that. So he is guaranteed to die, and in theory these two will automatically die too. Um Is there much point in me doing anything with these? Right, let's just end that turn. Okay, so triple kill there. By poison, which is quite cool. Okay, so, artifact. That sounds quite cool. When taking unblocked damage, gain that much delayed block. So you gain the block on the following turn. Do six damage to a random enemy. We'll roll ten dice for that though. I like that one. I like to turn that one better. So we're getting a bit of a collection up here, aren't we? Um, well. Okay. Hold dice until next turn. End of turn, gain X. So I can put a dice in there. And then I gain that dice and I also gain block. So X amount of block, so that would be towards the amount of dice. In Foresight, roll plus one dice per stack on the next turn. So I get an additional dice, one additional dice on the next turn. Deal X amount of damage to random enemy in game to block. So we haven't tried these ones, have we? So let's try this one. And let's get some gold. Right. So yeah, I've got this issue now. I've got ones in my inventory. Uh, so the evil one has come down. But he's also got block on that. I've got a lot with block now as well. Right, so let's take out okay got keep some attack um so let's take let's take that one out let's bring that one in one to four even odd and ten so that's quite in a quite a area covered at least i'll take that one out oh. i think it's got stuck Oh. It's not moving. I think I've just stuck it. Let's go out here. Oh. Okay, so <laughs> I think I've just broken it. Um, okay, but that's why we're testing it. That's why we're testing. Um, uh, what do I do now? What can I do with this? Um, what shall I do? Hmm. All right, okay, I'm going to, um, can I quit some menu? Uh, let's quit some menu, and it, oh, it's still there. Okay, um, okay, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to pause the video here, and I think I will close the game down, and uh, I think I'll reload it, um, since this seems to be a little, um, a little stuck.
Okay, so we're reloading the uh, game again after that uh, little error. Um, but that's fine because this is why we're playtesting. These things are um, got to get sorted out. I'll send a message off and hopefully this will be fixed. Um, so let's carry on. So let's hit the continue button. I can Technically I can abandon the game now. Um, but yes, let's continue. Let's see. Well, first of all, let's see if I can actually duplicate that issue because we were changing the inventory anyway, weren't we? I don't think this is saved in, is it? What changes did we make? I can't think. Yeah, we took... Did we take poison out? Oh, let's have a look here. Uh, yeah, we haven't used that yet. So let's take poison out. Let's put that one in. So I wonder if during the last match, see during the last match we tried to put the even in during the battle didn't we and it didn't work so I wonder if that is what's caused that issue so okay let, let's take um, uh, what did I try and do, I, took, I tried to take fluctuate out here and drop it down in like, let's try and drop it this side okay so that's dropped fine and let's try and drop it this side yeah, so that's okay. So whatever that issue was, I assume restarting has fixed it. So I can I move that across there? So I can put these in any order I want then, hopefully. Okay, right. So now let's try, try and rework out what I actually want to do here. Um, so hold dice, deal damage and poison, gain three block deal damage. Is there anything I haven't used? So one to four, do I want to four? I wonder, I wonder if I could leave those three up there and go into battle with the four there. I wonder whether that would work. Okay, so next is an event. So we're not far away now. Obviously I'm going to miss all of these, aren't I? I can't go back to any of these. So let's move forward. Event or battle. We're going to have a battle afterwards. So let's go event. Okay. Scarlet creature. A pair of winged creatures sits in a tree watching you. It doesn't sound ominous at all, does it? Um... One of them throws a bloody dagger at your feet and snarls the words Gold for your blood. Now this could be tricky. Receive 10 damage. Now I've only got 20 health. So um, again 90 gold. I've got 98 gold. I haven't been really using the gold. So there's no point in trying to go for that I think at this point. I can't heal myself and losing 10 damage at a stage is not a good idea. Um, so let's... I technically I can leave as well. What does leave do? I don't want to leave and miss out. Uh, I'd rather do the combat but... Let's... Let's leave I guess. Okay. <laughs> it's gone. <laughs> okay so leaving wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I wanted the combat. Oh well never mind. Right moving on. Run to battle. Mind if I'd have lost 10 health in the in the combat, it wouldn't have been great either, would it? Right, one fairy guardian with 8 damage. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so I've got 2 block because uh, number 5 has jumped out. And as we know, we get 5 from there. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Now, technically, this is only going to work if I don't roll a 5 and I don't have any block. Um... Fairy Guardian, dealing 8 damage. Uh, we have a new thing there. Decay Fairy is uh, applying 1 sap and gaining 1 dodge. So sap is minus 4 block gained from spells per stack this turn. And dodges prevent next time unblocking damage is received. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you can see I've got the 4 there. I've got the four and I've got the three in inventory. It's probably not a good idea to have done this, but it was interesting to see if it would work. 
Um, okay, so we have uh, we have this one was on my new one, wasn't it? This isn't an even uh, gate three block on a six. Reroll the dice weight. So I can put a six in there, and in theory, that has rerolled it, and I've gained three block as well. So that's not bad. So if I get attacked now, I'm going to lose three damage because of him attacking me, the Fairy Guardian. Okay, so hold dice until next turn, end of turn, gain X block. So we we might as well utilize that. How are we going to utilize that? So let's do uh, let's do a. Deal three damage and poison three. That's a three to six. So I can put. I'm gonna put the five in there. Let's work this out as we go along. So five. Oh wait, is that a good idea? Can I cancel that? Oh, can I, yeah, right click and I cancel that. So let's put the five in that one. Sorry. I'll do that because he'd get poison damage as well. And let's put the. Three. Don't want to put three in here. I don't know. Right, just put three in there. So that's going to hold that. Um. Kind of think of it. This one is actually pretty useless. Thinking about it now, I've got the odd one here. It only works if I've got an even number, technically. So. So this ice spear probably should have been replaced. Okay, so my dice is stuck in now, but no more to go. So we are going to end turn here. So he's going to get six poison damage, and I am going to get no damage. In fact, it looks like I'm going to lose all my block. So just number three dice here. I'm guessing I will get that friend back in me. Like so. So I've got four dice. Do I take the th should I take the three and put it back in? Let's do that. Let's put the three back in there. It seems like a good idea to put the three back in there. Uh what's this? Uh snare. Receive one marked and remove snare when used this turn. And he's gained, he's gained dodge, obviously. He's still got five poison there. And I have sap minus four block gained from spells this turn. So if I was to end turn now, three damage I received. And this guy's going to get poison damage. Okay. Uh, two and four. So if I put the number two because it's not used by anything else if I put a number two in here big bubble but I lose that I don't get a dice back because it wasn't a six but I have taken my block up so now it's only one damage against me right so let's put I can't put that in there can I uh, let's put yes yeah, so and even so I have to put that in there because I want to get some tax going ideally so four and let's put that in the odd. So he's got eight now. So he's going to go down quite a lot. It's going to four. Okay, so that's the end of turn two. He snared me. And I've got delayed block there. I don't know if you saw that there. Delayed block. So I've added one block. Snare. So what what can I do with this? Nah. Plus fifty percent damage received on target for one turn per stack. So if I use that, I'm guessing I'm going to get damaged. Um, he's going to die by poison. There's no point in attacking him anymore. Right. So even number. So let's put a six in there because that makes most sense and get a dice back. And then we can do. I'm still going to get hurt. So let's put the four in there. 
We're going to lose that, aren't we? Yeah. But I'm not going to get hurt this round. Now, I can't use this to attack. But I can put three in here. And attack this guy. Which he has dodged. Of course he dodged. But the dodge has now been removed. Two and one. What, what can I do with these? Um... Let's put a two in there, and I think that we're going to lose, uh, I'd rather lose the one dice than receive damage, to be fair, so let's end that turn. Okay, the snare's gone, and I put four dice because I, I held a dice, so six, six for block. And get the dice back. So you start only start to work out how to play this. So five and three, he's got three poison now. Is he what is he gonna do to me? He's applying two sap. So he's not actually gonna hurt me. We got five health. Can I do anything here? Three Uh, I could probably chuck in there. Would that be enough to kill him? Yes, that's enough to kill him. So there's no point in playing those two. And I have more than enough block because he's not hurting me. So let's end the turn there. And death by poison. Now I lost one health at the end there. I don't know if you saw that in minus one. Right, spell draft. Where would that minus one come from? Do we know? In there. Okay, so spell. Oh, very shiny there. Right, Sleet Sky. Gain one house storm, reroll random other dice. Gain one ice fury per stack when rolling dice this turn, increases damage on next attack. Replenish. Now it says replenish, but I don't see anything saying about health there. Blocks damage until next turn. There's just no point in getting that one, I don't think. Um, uh, ice Blast, still 7 damage. Um, uh, is there no, no hover on that one? Not getting a hover for some reason. You always go with a hover, but that one does want to. Um, so this one needs 2 dice. Now, let's give that one a shot, because this has got two dice on it, why not? Last pot. So is that a potion? Oh, my first potion. Deal 15 damage. Okay, and we have fit four card. Okay, so on to the sanctuary. Um... So choose a gift. So heal 25 health, which probably could do with right now. Search library, fire, earth, water, spell draft. So that's going to be a random spell. Arcane spell. Potions. Does that mean it's two potions? Looks like it could be two. Destroy a spell. Bell, bring all shards inserted. Oh, that's not a very good idea, is it? Um, what is best to go for? We know the boss is after this. And whilst the hill 25 does sound like a good idea. Let's search the library. Let's have a look. Wow, very shiny. That's a blue there. Blue is rare. Gain 7 block on start of combat. Gain 1 fortify. Fortify is plus 1 block gained from spells for the rest of this combat. Oh, that actually sounds quite cool. Um, deal 2 damage increase by 1 for each block. Remove half of your block. And so that's good, but... These are all, all countdown ones, aren't they? They're all countdown sockets. This one's only three. Gain three block on the final charge from a five or six. A 
should we go for? Let's go for... Let's go for this one, because it's a rare, and I don't have any rares, why not? Uh, what have I got here? Oh, so the new one, Ice Blast, has been added here. Let's take out that spear one, we don't need that, anyway, we just put this one in. Uh, we have quite a lot of blocks. So damage, poison, reroll. Remember six. So I think we might as well keep all of those in actually. We need to try them out, so why not? Uh, can I put that aside? Oh dear. I think I just broke it again. Oh dear. <laughs> I just wanted to move it to the other side. Um I, uh okay. Um Alright, no problem. Uh, what we will do is, again, we are... Let's actually hide the thing. I can't actually change the volume on this as well. So be very careful when you break it. <laughs> right, let's uh, quit the menu. Is that... Oh, no, that's still there. Can I move it? Oh, wait, I can move that now. Um, hold on. So maybe I can go back and continue. Well, it's not there. Where'd it go? Where's it gone? Oh, it didn't save. Okay, so... Okay, let's put that back up there. Let's bring that back down. Do I attempt moving it across again? There we go. Right. Okay, so I nearly broke it. Nearly. Close. And that should have saved. Oh. Boss battle. Heart of the forest, the arcane corruption has taken hold in the forest. Defended by roots which grows various fruits. Whew. The heart itself debuffs the wizard and broken and curse grows its power continually. Defeat to advance to the next act. So, I can see some in there. Right, okay. Right, so what's this? Root of the forest. <laughs> that does nothing. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do 10 damage to stun this enemy. Uh, he's doing 10 damage to me. That's already quite hard. Uh, what's that? Fortify. Plus one block gain from spells for the rest of the combat. Okay, uh, what's this? Uh, do 20 damage to stun this enemy. Cannot take action this turn. Uh, I could be in trouble here. I don't have much health to play with. And that is going to be... Minus 8. Alright, so let's try and utilise some of this. 5, 2 and 1. Could do with more dice, really. Um... Okay. So that one holds the dice. I like the fact that we can hold the dice. But it might be better off played in there. To gain the four, put the one in the end, and we'll hold that. So what are we going to lose now? We're losing two, but we're not actually attacking. So let's get an attack. Um, so it's damage and poison. So let's get that in there so he can start losing some health. Right, so that's enter turn one. Okay. Oh, I've still got the fortified. I've still got four block. I've got four dice here. Um, so it was even, wasn't it? Even numbers only. Um, so let's put the four in here. Let's stay with the one in the far side. 
Now this is 8 isn't it, so... Um, I'm just wondering about the fortify stack, so I don't want to put them all in there and I find it's useless. Now I'm actually not going to get hurt here. What have we got? We've got curse. Deal grow corruption fruit. Curse. Next time all dice lose four value per stack. I think does that say four value or is that one value? Lose one value per stack. Broken. Spell cannot be cast until repaired. And marked. We've already got marked before. And do you know I am going to do some poison damage, why not? So let's stack up that poison. So we've got eight stacks. And I notice this uh this is going down as well, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Right, so let's move on. So cursed. Oh well, now I've got the five there, so that got me some more block. So these are all cursed dice. Um, let's carry on with the one. Um, five, three. So that is that's gained eight blocks. So that is actually really defensive. Actually, I like that. So I'm gonna get ten attack. And I still, for some reason, have two block. Alright, so, gain four block, reroll dice, alright. Need more attack, need more attack here, because I, I, I need two dice for this. Do I need two dice for this? I don't know. Can I hold that there? I don't know. Alright, let's end that turn, let's see if that dice holds. No, it's gone. Okay, so it's not a good idea to do that. All the ones. Uh, one and one. Let's try that. Seven damage. Seven damage. Seven damage. Okay. What am I going to get attacked with there? Oh, I'm going to lose a lot of health here. So let's put the two. And let's do... What can I do with this? Can't put it in here. Should I put it in here? Let's put it in there. Okay. I'm going to get some health lost here. Six, five points lost here. So delayed block of five. So there's no point in me putting two sixes in this. It's a uh, because it's only going to deal seven damage. But like the two twos could go in. But if I do that, I can't hold a dice. I'm not going to get hurt this round. Fourteen damage. He's going to do fourteen damage against me, but I'm not actually going to get hurt. No idea why. Don't ask. Okay, so two. Um, six. Two. Six. Because I've got no odd numbers, which means I can't do any attacking right now. So I've got 19 block. And um, as that six went in there. It re-rolled and gave me a new dice, and then I'm going to use that to attack. So, five. Right, end of turn five. Okay, 
so let's go with I have no block here uh, he's going to kill me apparently right so let's work this out how are we going to do this um, 4, 3 and 1 can give me 8 and 2 we put 2 in there 4, 3 one. Still gonna lose quite a lot of health here though. Mm. It's a curse hit two dice. Okay. So this seems like a Seems like he's going to lose 9 poison damage here. And he's going to go down to 15. I actually think in there we have the deal 15 potion. So why don't we use that. And that will kill both of them. What damage am I getting? I'm not getting anything. Okay. So there's no need to play any of these dice. I can just end this turn. Hill to max, well that's helpful. One shard, two shards, three. And gold. Okay, so let's see what we'll do these. Um, what was working out for us? We can't use a shard on any of the top row. Or can we? Can we use it? Yes, we can use shard in here. Um, plus one charge and plus two poison. Uh, increases two times the dumb dice number. I like that one. So let's put down there. And that now has three shards. So if you get a five in there, two times five would be quite a lot of damage actually. Right. Um, i got three shards, but using that shard there, it looks like it used two shards, because I've only got one left. So what am I going to use on this? Always re-roll dice. That could be actually really helpful, couldn't it? So it doesn't matter if it's a six or not, I re-roll regardless. Let's do that. Yeah, re-roll dice. So it'll pop the dice in there and get the dice back. Right. All right. I think that we are gonna call it there. I think um, we're gonna send this information off to the um, developers about the bugs, and um, we we'll carry on to uh, Act Two uh, next time. Thank you very much for watching, and. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, take care.